Welcome to this Absolute Bin Beginners Blender tutorial number 19. In this tutorial I will demonstrate the use of textures. To apply a texture to an object you first have to have a material. The texture is a part of the material definition. So we'll start out by adding a material by clicking the plus sign to add a new material slot, pressing the plus the new material and let's just change the color to green. That's sufficient for now. Now we're going to go and move the cursor over to the 3D view and press the tab key to go into edit mode and it's all selected. You can press A to deselect A to select again. Just make sure it's selected. Assign the material to all the selected vertices And then you can tab over to object mode. If you now press F12 and render this, this is what we get. I'll press 7 and 5 on the num keypad and select the light. Do Shift D to duplicate the light and again Shift D and left mouse button and then move that over. That way I press 0 on the num keypad to come to camera view and then F12 to render. So now the object is evenly illumined. Next thing to do select the object by right clicking with the mouse and then select texture. I didn't change the default name of the material, just left it as it is. I will now add a new texture and I will use a procedural, te procedural texture and in this case you have several to choose from. We will not use the image or movie in this tutorial that will happen in a later tutorial. We'll try the the marble. Here you can press texture or material. It shows what it looks like on an actual object or you can press both. That way you can more easily see what's going on. Sometimes you might want to just extend another window, change to property view, And texture. So you have that preview available because as you go down here in the properties it might become invisible or hidden. I'm just going to leave the basic uh, settings the way they are and uh, as you can see the color that it's mixing to, this is the mix uh, mode, is this uh, pink and we'll leave it like that because it's very obvious what's going on. Uh, now we press F12 again and there we have the material applied, the, the texture applied to the cube. And you can um, let the texture affect or influence different features of the material. I'll press escape to get out of that. And one thing that you can do is you can you can select the normal which will create the illusion that uh, the surface is uneven like this. So let's say we'll do this again and you can see how the object appears to be grooved All these settings give you a lot of possibilities. You can change the texture quite a bit. And one important feature is the mapping. I'm not going to go into offset, but you can change where, where the texture originates. But one very useful feature is the size, 
higher number means finer uh, pattern. So I'll just, instead of 1, I'll enter 10 in all these, x, y, z, and then it will, um, sorry, We'll press F12. You can see how the texture is more finely applied. There's also uh, the projection of flat or on a cube, but in this case, when you have a procedure texture, it doesn't make that much of a difference. So this way, when you do it like this, you open another uh, window frame, then you can see see what's happening here with your um, with your texture as you change so 0 0.1 there for instance and you can see how you can lessen the influence of the texture that on the color and this is something that you just have to experiment with and find out what it is that you want. And this ends this tutorial. Remember, you always have to have a material, and the material must be assigned to the vertices. Otherwise, you will not see any texture in the rendering. So assign a material that has a texture to the object. Okay, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon.